It's sound that can shatter hope. Violence, it destroys families. <laughs> Neighborhoods. I feel unsafe. I hear shots through here all the time. Lives. You get the opportunity to go tell another mother her kid's not coming home. Ever. Anger boils over. Fear intensifies with every pull of the trigger. The fact is, violent crime's out of control. And it's everywhere. Olathe, Overland Park. I ain't got my fishing buddy. It's hard to live without it. Waldo, independence. This violent stuff needs to quit. The only hope for change is action. This crime problem is tearing families apart. So we have to take action. Because without action... Down here, it's not, it's not a kind of KC. Because it's not. We will never be kind KC. Good evening to all of you. Tonight, a 41 Action News special report. Kind KC, say no to violence. Here at 41 Action News, we've started a movement to make our community safer. The idea is to say no more senseless deaths, no more fear in our neighborhoods. We can stop the violence, but it takes action from city leaders, state leaders, and you. Because as a community, we all need to stand up and speak out to say no to violence. Kansas City is on track to have one of its deadliest years ever. Victims as young as three years old. I don't know at what point in our community that we've gotten to where we have child homicides. The violence spread out all across the metro. A gunman shot and killed Kyle Longdon's son, CJ, and KCK. I, I ain't got my fishing buddy. It's just hard to live without him. Sometimes I just, just want to be with him. Years later, their emotions are still raw. His parents don't go to any family events. They don't even put up a Christmas tree. We have over 80 murders so far this year. Michelle Metji's son, Corey, also killed. We're not going to go away, that these murders need to be solved, and that this needs to stop. The data is grim. In Kansas City, as of Tuesday, we've already climbed to 86 homicides, including a man shot and killed just Monday at 39th and Cypress. Of those, two involve children under the age of 16. I'm a little scared. I've been in the neighborhood 35 years, and I don't like what's been going on. In KCK, from 2005 to 2015, FBI statistics show just over half of the city's homicides were solved. In Kansas City, during those same years, about the same. The impact violence has on children is profound. A recent survey from the Department of Justice shows children are more likely to be exposed to violence and crime than adults. Their emotional memories, powerful. We got to come together and stand and do something together. Oftentimes, these victims later become perpetrators of further violence. Kansas City's mayor reiterating we need to find the right path. That was what it was about then. That's what it's about today. Uh, there's a lot more gunplay today than there used to be. A lot more people dying at the end of a bullet. Kansas City leaders say there are steps we all need to take to get the crime rate down. A citizen's task force says to get violence under control, the city needs to develop a youth master plan, review teams on domestic violence deaths, add resource centers and also mentoring programs, and also get the message out. We can't say that enough, that violence is not the answer.